Hey guys, in this video we're going to be getting our first look at product mockups. So the first mockup we're going to be working with is this very simple CD cover. First thing you're going to do, open up the PSD file that I provide you with and we want to go right down to the layers panel. So this is what your layers panel is going to look like when you first open it up. You're going to see there are two um, kind of like little groups that are coated green and then there's one that says background. Um, with these, there's actually kind of different like contents within these folders, so we wanna click these little drop down menus to see what's inside. Now, the reason why these are color coded is because I want to make sure you guys know which layers are meant to edit and which layers are there to kind of create this nice CD illusion. So you'll see that there's sometimes some folders that say do not edit, listen to the mock-up. The mock-up does not lie. We are only gonna edit the green coated layers. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna see once you open up the CD back folder is a layer that says add design here and it's pointing to this little box right here. Now this box represents a smart object and whenever we're working with smart objects in Photoshop, we double click the thumbnail and it brings us into a new file to work specifically with that smart object. So as you can see, once I double click that, it opened up that design in a new file. And you can actually see uh, the new tab right up on the top of Photoshop. That's why the biggest rule is never start editing right when you open up the mockup. You always wanna make sure that you're in a separate file, which is usually the smart objects, right? Um, if we draw on any of these files, it could totally destroy our mockup. So we have to make sure we're using these very, very carefully and efficiently. All right, so I am in my smart objects file now. And what I want to show you guys is how anything that you do to this file will actually apply to the other file, uh, the original mockup. So let's say I draw a beautiful little heart. If I hit save, which means I have to go up to my file menu and click save, or if you are good with key commands, you can do command S. And then I go back to my uh, CD mockup. That drawing that I just made is gonna apply to the CD cover. Now keep in mind, if you don't hit save, this isn't gonna pop up. Now, even if I X out of this tab, I can always get back to it by going down to my layers panel double clicking the smart object, and it'll always open right up. So these are always editable as long as you make sure to never get rid of this little smart object layer here. All right, so that is pretty much how to edit the graphics. And you'll notice that we were just looking at the CD back, but even if you look at the CD cover, there's two of those, one for the cover and one for the little side piece uh, of the cover. Now, the last thing I wanna go over with you guys is the background. So most of the times the backgrounds are editable and this one happens to be editable. So what you can do is you can actually change the color by clicking this little blue box because this little blue box actually represents the color that's being shown on the background right now. So if I click on that or double click rather, a little uh, color picker will pop up and then any color that I choose with my color picker will actually apply to the background. So when you guys are doing your album cover project, you can choose a background color that matches your album instead of uh, just that blue color. Okay, so that's pretty much it for product mockups. The only other thing that you have to remember is make sure that you're not just saving these as PSDs and turning them in. Make sure that you are submitting them as JPEGs once you're completely done. But that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have fun with this project. I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. Good luck.